started filling down here at the bottom and over on the side where the peas go. This section down here will be where my squash goes. They do really good down here. As far as the, like the butternut squash and the calabasa and a couple other things. It's good, good soil down here. And typically this soil over here is pretty crappy on this side. Doesn't test well. It's a lot of, a lot of stones in it. So this is normally where I put field peas at or cow peas. They do really good over here. Of course, they'll do good just about anywhere. And then at the end of the year, we just, uh, whatever peas we don't pick, we just cut the vines off and run them through the shredder and put them back in the ground here so they have some more nitrogen, some more uh, organic material in the soil, trying to build it up over here. And then this section over here is where the uh, vining stuff goes. We'll put the uh, bottle gourd and the loofah and probably put the peas up here as far as like the snow peas or the early spring peas right in here. And then we'll swap those out to something else. Later on, once they die off, it gets too hot for them, and they bolt. Uh, this side over here, this is where we'll put the uh, bitter melon along here. And I think I got too much stuff this year, so I'll have to spread it out. Cucumbers go right here, and long beans will probably go back over here, maybe. This is all opened up, what we feel like putting where eventually. That's our little uh, compost pile there. Look like a lot, but it's really not very much at all. That's just household stuff and some plant material that's rotted down. It's pretty good. Got to sift through it and get the get the peanut shells and stuff out of there, but everything else is good in it. We'll put those in another pile and let them rot for a couple more years. All right, that's it for this one.